This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, so this is actually a charter, um, uh, Just Fishing Long Island uh, charter, John Halkius, and uh, but this time our charter crew is on the client's boat, and the client's boat is the most awesome boat I've ever been on in my life. It's a 40-foot Intrepid Center console, and uh, we've got John is up at the helm, and uh, the client, Mike, is going to make an appearance soon here, but the fun thing is these two kids. Um, he's got uh, two sons, uh, Hayden and Ryder, eight and ten years old respectively uh, and yeah they're going to be the stars of this and it's so much fun for me um, helping little kids learn how to fish and that's what I'm going to be doing. So the cool thing is uh, so this is Ryder and um, he wants to do everything he wants to learn everything he wants to put the bucktail on the leader he wants to put the gulp on the hooks and he wants to fillet the fish um, yeah, 10 years old, you know, what can you say? Let's put this on the top and... Use quite a big piece of gold. Oh yeah, that's the whole thing. And then, you know, you want these to put on, see how nice and straight that is? Yeah. And if I put it on the wrong way, it might be scrunched up or something, but that is pretty much perfect. Oh, that's good. This way, right? Yep, yep, right in the middle. Here's a little trick. If you look at the bait, you're gonna see there's a, a seam. You should be able to see, you see yeah. the little the line? That's, what I That's where you're shooting to get it down, you know, to have it come out. Okay, so now what I'm gonna show you is the whole thing to catch fluke is to have motion in the strike zone. And the strike zone is, is, is near no, the I'm bottom. Just it up I don't put any gold on. Um, strike zone is near the bottom. So Here's a good way, see, because what I do is I'm going to go like this, and this is going to wear you out to death I'll doing do it. that. No, 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 no. Here's what I'm going to suggest. All right, if you put one hand here and one hand down here, and just go like this. This, you can do this all day because you have a lot of leverage. Now, what you're going to feel is that a lot tap. of times, a lot of times you don't feel a tap here. What you feel is like there's some weight or there's something there when you feel that what's really important is it's the heart and, yeah. and since and see if you hold it like this yeah. you're going to be very good position to set that hook hard and then as soon as you do that and that rod is bent the whole thing is keep the rod bent and and start and start reeling so these are very good conditions Okay, so now I'm helping uh, the younger son. He's just dropping down. I'm making sure that I, I watch his line that he gets down to the bottom. So uh, that's Hayden. And uh, you're going to see uh, Chris. Chris is uh, John's mate, and uh, you know, so he's helping out a lot on this trip. So he's going to step in and um, also make sure that uh, Hayden gets down to the bottom. That's You know what, for somebody who's just learning this fishing, which that is the case for both the kids um, and Mike, the client, uh, just knowing you're on the bottom when you're dropping down to 80 feet of water with a two or three ounce jig, um, you know, that, that can be a little bit of learning in the, in the beginning also. He's down, yeah. Yeah, when I first said the check, he wasn't. Oh, I need a net. Yeah. Anything good? Maybe. Boy, now he's coming up faster, but... Yeah, I think he's going to be a swinger. Didn't feel like it in the beginning. Well, we don't need the net. Yeah, he's a keeper. Maybe. Now, Hayden, if you prefer... This is, you know, spinning reel. This is a conventional reel, so it's a matter of which hey, one you hey, prefer. You want to use the spinning? Yeah. Okay, spinning's good. Whatever you're more comfortable with. As long as you get some action on the jig near the bottom. Oh, oh that's a good one. You see how I had the Why? rod high right now. and I started reeling? Yeah, what'd you do? Show me how you did. You... As soon as I came up on the fish, before I ever dropped the rod, the first thing I did was get my hand on the on the handle and start cranking. Is that a keeper? Yes, it is definitely a keeper. 
we might get him in the boat to spike that, but you never know. Uh, <laughs> it's up there, up towards the bow. This would be a good size one. That's a good fish. Yeah, it's a big fish, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good job. Nice job, Skinny. There we go. That's something? Huh. That's something. Hayden, you want to reel in a fish? Sure. Here you go. So it's funny, on the way out, uh, the older boy, Ryder, without being asked, said that he does not want anybody passing him a rod. He wants to hook the fish himself and take pride in hooking the fish, but he said his younger brother will probably definitely take a rod. Um, actually, uh, Hayden took a nap like an hour or so. He was feeling not too well in the seas, and now he has woken up. And uh, So I, I asked him if he'd like to reel that one in, try to wake him up a little bit, and... Uh, Oh, you, you're going to see how he's going to progress through this trip. It's going to be amazing. That's a keeper. Oh, it's a keeper. Chris, get the net. Nice fish. Oh, keep yeah. it right there. Keep it right there. Hold on. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Let him go. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. Ryder, don't. Don't. This one might bust you. No. Nice fish. Yes. Okay, so my regular viewers know that I use... Um, uh, bait casting gear for this kind of fishing, but the the kids are using the two Skinner rods, so uh, I've got uh, one of John's spinners. Any kid want this? It's a fluke. Come on, guys, grab it. It's a keeper. I think I've never had one on this rod. So. Doesn't it feel like? I don't know what to think. It very well could be a keeper, though. So. I'm guessing it's not a fluke. Oh, it's definitely a fluke. You got the net, Chris? Yeah. Uh, this is ready, but I want to see this fish, guys. Yeah, it's... No, it's a keeper. Yeah? Definitely. It's, I, I, no, seriously. I don't think he's that big. I think. No, it's probably like 19 for these fish. It's probably cheaper. It looks 19. Oh, John, he has a fish. Ryder does too. Yeah. Oh, big blue. Okay. Big blue. Alright, I got this so you get the net oh. Oh, down there. Go through the go through the cabin there. Oh, you have something too. Hayden, you wheel up. Hayden, wheel up. Hayden, yeah, Hayden, wheel up. Hayden, you wheel up. And move down. Hayden, move down. All right, this one turned out to be 20 inches. Uh, the New York limit is 19 inches. Yeah, that's the Night Ranger. All right, don't horse it. Yeah, just keep reeling. You seeing so fluke? We had like three fish on just now. Are you, you seeing want... fluke shakes? No. No. Wait, measure? Yeah, please, thanks. Got him? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to guess oh, 20 inches. A... Yeah, no, I, I don't think almost for sure it's good. Oh, Way to go! Hey, Dad, I caught my first keeper. Well, we got. I think we got to measure, uh, measure him. It's going to be very close. Slack it off a little. And Ryder was indeed correct. That is a keeper. Okay, this is going to be really special, and it starts from Ryder on the other side of the boat yelling, "Fish on!" John, John. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. It's a blue. Bring the net, Chris, when you're done. Is that the one I handed you to? <laughs> Alright, I, I got it. Don't worry about it. Just do me a favor, give a couple cranks on that rod. Alright, note that I left that rod there. It's going to become significant in a couple of minutes. Coming. Everybody's watching. Oh, it's got weight. Yeah, I know. Ah. This is for a little brother catches big fish. And then the boat flips because everybody went to one side. Especially the fat guy here. Yeah, yeah, it's got potential there. Yeah. 
No, don't reel fast. Nice just and slow. keep, yeah, slow and steady wins slow the race. Just keep steady. the rod bent. You're doing yeah, it right. Let's just lift the rod. I, mean, I don't yeah. want to yeah. screw it up for him. We know how you are with people. But you know what? Right. It's actually helpful it's under the bowl because he has a it's natural be, bend. Def I think it's def definitely going to be at least a keeper. No way. It's no, it's definitely a fluke. 100% fluke. And it's going to be, I'm going to say five pounds. Four and a half to five. What if Skinner misses it with the net? That would be really bad. <laughs> Up. Oh, <laughs> now look, when when you get him up to the top, I want you to keep him moving. Like, hey, I want you to keep him moving, okay? Oh, Don't stop moving him, because when they get up on top, then they shake off. So yeah, you, I might I might help a little by by guiding him, okay? But you're gonna reel him up. I'm not gonna help you reel him up. He's got a lot of potential because it's taking a long. Yeah. Well, he's really nice okay. and easy. And just keep him moving. There it's a it big, is. beautiful yeah. flow. Oh, keep him moving. Oh, 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 oh. Keep him moving. Oh, oh, oh. Yay! There you go. Beauty. Nice. Way to go. All right, push the button on the reel. Push the button on the reel. All right. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Team Hayden. Team Hayden. No, no, no. Ryder, you've been doing a phenomenal job, too. Now, instead of hanging around, Hayden went to the other side of the boat, grabbed my rod out of the rod holder, and started right, jigging. Cut. You know what? All right, all right, all right. Cutting the leader here, Skinner. All right, I'm going to help out over here. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. I have another fish. Well, somebody... Oh, he does have a fish. Keep reeling up there. Whose line is that? I, I don't know. Somebody's got a line floating around. You got all right, a he's got a big sea bass. That's a, nice that's a, sea bass. That's a keeper. Okay, here, Skinner. So, remember what we said? Insanity for a while. Keep right reeling. Just keep right reeling. Right. Don't put on top of him. Let, make sure he let him get his fish up. Keeper? Yeah, bring him over. Oh, Sweet. Keep moving. Keep him moving. Good job. Boom, Good job. I big one. Dad, you see that? I caught it myself. I'm okay, dead. push the button. Push the button. <laughs> Good job, Hayden. Doing okay, a push the button. Mm. Yeah. Well, you, you can Riley, ill push. This is a nice sea bass. John, give him a hand there. Yeah, I got it. All right, you got the fish. I got, I got the, the rod. Way to go. You catching any fish? Where did you see that? That's that one myself again. Hey, good move. Uh, listening to Rick. There. Sitting, yeah. That one was sitting in the rod hole. Who, who puts. Where did you catch it on? It was on that reel. It was sit I, Dad, I caught it all by myself. It was in the rod holder. I got it. I pulled it up and fish on. I caught it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, my regular viewers will recognize the blue boat that's going to uh, pull up to us. That's uh, Rick's beautiful metal shark. All right, I've got to get him. Hayden just picked up a nice one, maybe six to seven, and he and he went to the front. He got a yeah, second yeah. one before we even got the other one off. Okay, All right. you got that. Good job, All right. Guys. This so whenever John or I or both uh, go on somebody else's boat, uh, yeah, so we bring out our phones with the Navionics app. All the spots are in there, and I'm just showing um, Mike the client some cool stuff on that app. Um, our spots related to the structure. So, have you ever seen relief shading? On. So this is, I don't know how well you can see this, maybe if you got in the shade a little bit, but you can see the, the three-dimensional bumps on here. So that's Navionics. Yeah. So here's where we are, here's one of our marks. But you can see these, you, you know, you can see these ledges. Look at it, it's got a fish mark on it. And a short trip. And so that's the Navionics trip. app. Yeah, I have the Navi, I have the app on. So if you go to map options and uh, relief shading, turn that on, it looks really cool. And does it usually follow with when you catch that you're in those contours? Um, it turned a lot of times the spot you can see all right, so there's a, a previous spot and it's right in there It's right in that that stuff. You know, it's in the structure I, gotta tell you, I flew fish growing. I never did this like this growing up. Yeah, well, you know what look uh, People my age we all started as bait draggers. That's the way it was done oh, but when the when the uh, braided lines came out that gave us the ability to then use much lighter things and uh I, so I've got underwater video where I've got a, bait, a fresh bait strip dragging and then a bouncing gulp rig. Time after time again, the fluke just totally ignore the fresh bait and go right after the, the bouncing rig. I, 
Okay, so far the kids have caught the keepers, and uh, Mike doesn't have one yet, but that's going to change. He's in the stern. I caught it. I said Chris, and I caught it. If I get a cancellation, wait. There you go. That's it. Yeah, you're going to have to. Yeah, nice and easy. Don't go fast. Go slow. Move up a little bit. Right. And just keep the rod bent. Yep. That's a five pounder. And uh, Ryder, move up here a little bit just yeah. to get your line away from his. Oh, I like those shakes. I like those shakes too. This has like, like. God, oh, nice shakes. Yeah. Six, seven pound per turn. I'm on. Real, real, real. Bottom. Right, bottom. Good oh, job. Yeah. Way to go. How big is that? Chris, we need help up here. He's on the bottom and I have a fish. Okay. Nice, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Why? That's why I used the John Skinner method. Am I back in? So Ryder next to me is still doing his own rigs. He insisted on doing that the whole trip, but keep an eye on Hayden right next to him. And you came out here, I don't think you would see that that method. What do you got? Uh, oh. Yeah, he's got a fluke. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go. He's got potential. He's got some good head shakes there. Done. All right, I didn't get to use my uh, Skinner Dark Matter fishing rods too much, uh, but the kids did very well with them, and that was great to see. Yeah, well, yeah no, bring no, it. Yeah. I'll, I'll take care of that. It does have potential. I see the, the head shakes. Okay, just wait until he comes up. We can move up a little bit. Okay, you know that's the third one you bought by yourself. He's high hope, believe it or not. <laughs> Sleeper. And that's a keeper, isn't it? It looks good. Alright, just hate him. Alright, hold on. Oh, John, head first. There you go. Yes! <laughs> well done. And I liked how you didn't panic. You I went so <laughs> gentle. Yes. He, he used the, the stealth approach. Okay, a nice look at the Blue Jay here. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we need ice. Uh, uh, Rick's got plenty, and we're going to get some from him. How many keepers you got, uh, Cliff? I have uh, nine keepers. Wow. You have nine. Nine on. Ten. Ten. Wow. Wow, Cliff. You've an epic day. You know, hang on. As I said to Cliff, it's, it's the last time he's fishing on this boat. Uh -huh. I have to make it worth my while. We need two more. You have, uh, two more and you have a Skinner limit. Uh, Twelve. Uh, yeah. All right, we're good. All right, back it up. Are the other guys contributing at all? Uh, What's that? The, the guy in the back is the guy in the middle, not so much. Okay, thanks, Rick, for that. Um, yeah, we were just running a little low, wanted to make sure that catch stayed cold. Leave it on the bottom, it's going to get stuck. You take this. Anything Anybody? Good? Any kid want to reel in a fish? Yeah. Oh no, can I? Keep it. Sure. No. Hayden! This? Okay, start cranking. Crank, crank, crank. Really, Hayden? Well, he was next to me, so I handed it off. He's not as. Uh, I have a fish on too. Could be a keeper, I'm not sure. No. You're good. For a limit. This is not my fish, it's his. Yeah, good kid. Oh. See? See? Yeah, well, he's learned. I think he's going to be a shorty Eat anyway. It. I don't know. You're so mean. Ah, I think get it, get it. it. <laughs> That's going to be my fish. I'm not holding the rod, it's not my fish. Oh! I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'll take it. I'll give it a quick measure. I am. Oh, he hit I don't that. think you need a measure. And we ran back at speeds between like 54 and 59 miles an hour. I've never gone that fast in a boat before. All right. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And check out my online courses at saltstrong.com slash Skinner. And I'm going to leave you with how a trip should end. That, that's victory at the end of the day when they're sound asleep like that after he's caught, you know, and, and he won't even wake up. <laughs>